More than 90 British Airways flights to and from Heathrow and Gatwick have been cancelled because of technical problems with the airline's check-in and flight departure systems. More than 200 other flights have been delayed. The airline is reverting to manual systems and says the issues are affecting flight departures across the network, although not every airport is affected. BA says customers should check the status of their flight and allow more time at the airport. Our correspondent Lee Milner is at Heathrow. Uh, what's it like there at the moment, Lee? Well, I arrived at Terminal 5 at about half past eight this morning and I was met with hundreds of passengers queuing at check-in, trying to find out what's actually happening with their flights. I sat down with a family who told me that they checked in online last night. They were all ready, came two hours before, and then when they checked the board, it said, check with your airline. They phoned British Airways and with this particular family, they didn't have a great experience with BA. They said they had some communication problems and they didn't quite know what was happening but after about 10 minutes or so of being there it must have been about nine o'clock we all heard an announcement on the tannoy system which told everybody who had a short haul flight with ba to go home immediately either go home or check in a nearby hotel which they will be reimbursed for but no flights are going to go out today if it is a short haul flight uh, there is going to be an update at about three o'clock but it's not looking likely that you will be traveling today and what's happening is that passengers are actually trying to then book for this evening uh, so some of those flights are already booked up now this doesn't affect people who have long haul flights uh, this is affecting though however people across uh, airports all across the country, not just Heathrow. We have been told though by, by, by BA that it's not a global problem, but it is affecting uh, airports across the country. What the problem seems to be is an IT failure. I know I can all hear you say, oh, another IT failure, but it's actually two to be exact. One with the booking system and another that's affecting the flight departures. Lee, this of course comes in the middle of the school holidays. It really couldn't be a worse time for families especially, could it? I know, we've had plenty of families waiting in there uh, very patiently. They're trying to keep their children occupied as much as possible. But this is the only time of the year that many families are going to be able to get uh, on their holidays. And, and after speaking to a few of them, uh, some have been badly affected. Some are actually going away for uh, birthdays, for celebrations, others not so much. But this is what they had to say. We're trying to get around sometime today. Uh, we come from London, of course. And we've just been told that the flight's been cancelled when we got here. Now, I rang British Airways and they said they can't do anything for us over the phone. We've been told that our flight has been cancelled. It's not going to be rebooked today. And we've basically been told we either have to book a hotel for the night or go home. Uh, we're trying to get to Stockholm. Our next flight, we've been told, is Friday at 5 p.m. Um, we're probably going to go home and rebook. How do you feel about it? Uh, not massively happy, but these things happen. So he was being rather uh, sanguine about the whole situation. Uh, how do you gauge the general mood, though? Are people being fairly patient or understanding, or are they losing patience? Well, it's much better than what it was at half past eight this morning. As I say, when I came uh, through the doors at Terminal 5, it was absolutely jam-packed. I don't know if you've got the pictures, but the queues were absolutely huge. People waiting to rebook their tickets to check in. But it wasn't until that announcement that it, things started to calm down and people know exactly what they're doing. So the final message to anybody who's got a short haul flight with BA, please don't go to your airport, rebook online, go home or check into a hotel near you. OK, Lee Milner, it's Heathrow. Uh, keep us posted uh, for now. Many thanks. Uh, Steve Lamblu is stuck in Stockholm. Uh, he joins us now. Uh, we're very grateful for your time. Are you actually on a plane, Steve? Uh, no, I'm on a coach at the minute, uh, on the coach to Stockholm, Orlando. I, was, I only got the notification that my flight was cancelled about 45 minutes ago. Uh, so I was already on my way, already on my way there. And so I've had to book an additional flight with Norwegian Airlines to, to Gatwick Airport, which is, you know, obviously put, put me quite a bit out of pocket. So just, sorry, just to clarify, you, you were on your way to the airport, but never got there and then heard from BA that your flight was canceled. Is that right? 
I didn't even hear from BA. I heard from the the BBC News app that 200 flights have been cancelled, and I checked my flight, and it was one of them. And have you heard from British Airways at all? Not at all. Uh, mm, I can only begin to think what you well, let's say what what might be going through your mind then. <laughs> yeah, lots. Okay, so you found out that the flight was cancelled and uh, you need to get back to the UK, I take it. Uh, you've yeah. Now, you've now booked another uh, flight with an alternative airline. How confident are you you'll get some kind of compensation from British Airways? Uh, I'm not very confident, but I will use my best uh, uh, disgruntled telephone voice and give them a call. But I suppose that's what everyone's doing at the minute. Yeah, and I suppose the final uh, question is, will you ever fly with British Airways again? I don't know. I normally don't, to be honest. I was, um, I thought, because my flight was, was run by British Airways, I, it was a thin air flight. But obviously, that was run by British Airways. So I didn't realise that when I booked it, it was a British Airways flight. But there we go. And have you met anybody else who's in a similar situation to you? What have they, other people been saying? Um, well, I haven't met anyone in the, the same boat yet. But um, I'm sure I might once I get to the airport. Yeah, well, keep in touch. Steve Lamplew, uh, stuck in Stockholm, but hopefully not for very much longer. Uh, good to talk to you. Thanks. Thank you. 15 million.